Hi, it's Ryan Casey, sales trainer, Orange Theory Fitness Studio owner. And uh, today I want to talk about one of the best things you can do to help your staff succeed in sales, especially when they're new. And that is to help them frame their thinking with potential situations they're going to encounter. And you can do this from almost, almost any objection they're going to come across or any typical situation that's common or reoccurring in your business. And it'll help your people stay positive as well as keep their confidence and their enthusiasm up during the sales process. Because a sale is usually lost in the salesperson's head before it's lost in the customer's head. Generally what happens is a customer will say something and the, the, the salesperson has a negative view of how that came across. And when they get that, their confidence dips, their enthusiasm dips, and the customer picks up on it. And then they follow suit and they lose conviction in what that person's selling. They generally give you the, let me think about it line at that point. So one of the ways I like to frame uh, is teach our salespeople about what a good customer is. So a good customer's job is to get the best deal possible. It's very simple. So think about who the majority of your customers are. For, for most of the brands that I've worked with, uh, their typical customers are middle-aged adults, probably own a home. So I would explain it to my salespeople, something like this. So, all right, team, do you know why a lot of customers say too expensive or I can't afford it? Do you want to know one of the most common reasons people say that? It's this, is they're simply just being a good customer. So what's a good customer? A good customer's job is to get the best deal possible. So let's think about who our typical customers are. You know, do you think most of our customers have probably purchased a home before? I'm smiling and nodding because, yeah, they, they have, right? Yeah, in some cases, uh, even multiple, right? So let's think about how you buy a house. When you buy a house, you show up, they're listing it for this much. Do you just show up with a suitcase and say, I'll take it for that much, right? Well, depending on the market, but generally, no, right? Usually, if they offer this much, you're going to come in with an offer below and say, hey, I'll give you a little bit less. Can you give us this? Hey, this needs fixed. That needs fixed. We, we want a little bit better deal. And you're going to negotiate and try to get a better deal. Right. What about for our customers? Do you think most of our customers have purchased a car or two before in their life? Yeah. Right. So let's let's think about how somebody buys a car. Right. Now you can see everything online. So let's say we do our we're going to buy a car. We we get online, we do our research, and it turns out the car we want is going to cost about twenty five thousand dollars. So we show up to the dealership. We have twenty five thousand dollars in our pocket, ready to buy this car. But when we show up, it, it turns out they're running some amazing special. And the car that we want is actually only going to be 22,000. Now in our mind, what are we thinking? We're thinking score. I've saved 3000 bucks. This is awesome. Is that what we're going to tell the salesperson? No, no. When the salesperson says, oh yeah, it's 22,000. How are we going to respond? We're going to say 22,000. Oh my gosh. That's so much. I can't afford that. That's really expensive. Can you do 19,000, right? Even though it's less than what we thought it was going to be, even though we have $25,000 in our pocket, we're not going to tell them that. We're a good customer. And we know when you go buy a car, a lot of times you can barter and try to get the price down. And it's not that we thought $22,000 was, was a lot. We actually thought that was a smoking deal. That was better than we were expecting. But what we told the person was, I can't afford it. It's too expensive because we want to try to get a better deal. And do you see how many of our customers probably do that with us? Most of the time when customers are saying, I can't afford it or it's too expensive, what they're really doing is they're saying, can you give me a little bit better deal? Can you knock something off the price? All they're doing is they're being a good customer and that's totally natural. So stick to the process. And that's how I will train our salespeople when I'm trying to frame around those tough objections. So helping your people frame how they think is a very, very effective way to keep them more confident when they're dealing with those tough objections that they get for customers. So hope that helps. See you soon. Thanks.